Upstream Theater's production, Chef, questions our attitudes about food, prisoners, violence, love, and hope. And here to tell us more is the director of Chef, Marianne Depuré, and actress and chef, Linda Kennedy. Are you a real chef, Linda? I know you as an actress for a long time. No. <laughs> Did you have to like prepare food to audition or what? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I didn't. <laughs> uh, Marianne, you are not a St. Louisan. Not at all. I'm originally from Switzerland, but I lived in the States for a very long time. So. Uh -huh. And you came to direct the show in St. Louis? I was invited. I was very honored because I did a uh, play in Germany the, uh, six months ago which was sort of a big success and, and uh, somebody recommended me and all that stuff. And so I landed here and I'm very happy to be here. It's very new for me. St. Louis in particular? Or? Very new, how yeah. Do you, how do you find our city so far? I think it's very beautiful. I, I'm a little scared because I don't understand where north and south is. <laughs> but otherwise north, I think it's north really, is that really way. Uh, doesn't help one <laughs> bit, sorry. <laughs> Linda, you could probably show around. Yeah. Because I, I think you've been here your whole life, haven't My you? My whole life, right. yes. Um, tell me about this character you play, Chef. Um, yes. Usually you would think maybe a chef would end up in prison, but this is sort of the other way around. Well, that, that is the way it goes. No, that's the way it goes. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's very intriguing. When I, when I got the script, uh, before I decided to do it, Philip Bame asked me to read it. Philip is the artistic director of Upstream. And he knew I'd be hooked if I read it. <laughs> but you, at first you think, oh, she's just working there. And then you realize, no, she's not just working there. She's living there, too. She's living there, too. Yeah. Uh, Marianne, were you, were you familiar uh, with this play earlier? Not at all. Absolutely not. And the author called Shirley Mahfouz is from England. I had never heard of her, but again, thanks to Philip Bem, he sent me the script and he said, why don't you come? What, what attracted you to it? What about the script? The, the text is phenomenal. It's beautiful. It's really long and complicated for Linda. <laughs> she has one hell of a job. It's not a one-woman show, is it? Yes. I didn't it, realize that. Yes. No, no, but there's music. There's a whole bunch of things. There's lots of voices. Uh -huh. uh, it's, it's real life, but in a jail cell. And she tells a, a bunch of stories. And it's, the text is really wonderful. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really a great play. Was this based on a real story? I don't know. No, I don't think so. No. Um, um, but it, it really does. I've been seeing things lately about women in prison and, and how the system is. And I think it does uh, somewhat speak of that, of, of the, the ills of how women end up in prison is generally through domestic violence or um, through the association of some man who is doing something illegal. Um, I mean, yeah, there are... You're not blaming it all on men, are no, you? I, I got to stick up there for it. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> not blaming it all on men. But I think that we don't look at um, what happens to women in prison in that whole system as, as much as we should. I think that can be true for a lot of people in that situation. Maybe yes. not. Yes. All the facts, it's complicated sometimes, right? Yes, they are. Yeah. And I, I, what really stands out to me is the, the lack of mental health, you know, and, and getting help and having someone that you can really confide in and talk to and sort of reason with. So you mean, so like once you're in, once you're in prison, someone to help get you to a better place? Yes. And you're saying that often that doesn't happen? That doesn't happen. Yeah. Was there any big challenge for you directing this? What did you know about press? <laughs> well, um, I was running the open theater of that's 100 years ago in, from New York, and we did a lot of uh, jail. Uh, we went to lots of jails, uh, prisons all over the United States. Oh, really? But it was always men's prisons. I don't know why they, uh, I don't know why, but that's how it was. Mm. And uh, what's really interesting is that uh, she's a chef the, the character is so phenomenal because she is in jail. We never really know why she really is in jail. I think that's really interesting because you, you, maybe that's part of the charm of it because you'd think you'd want to know that, but you don't let us know. Well, no. I, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not going to tell me now, are you? No. Okay, no. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to be back and try to drag it out of you somehow. 
Uh, stay with us here at STL Live. We're going to learn more about Upstream Theater's production of Chef right after this break.